Okay, so this is the robot moving, basically, so it happens to show its arm moving. Uh, what I've noticed, and I'll let you watch it while I do this, this is the robot so far. As you see, the head has been upgraded, so it looks more realistic. Now it has to have a skeleton for the body, for the progress. I have servos connected on it. The shoulders can move. But this works fine. That one, I'm, I don't know, it's kind of not working very well. I don't know why yet. Uh, but, watch it move like this. If I... prefer if I can move farther up first. That's as far as it goes up for the shoulder. Uh, probably want to adjust the hand a little bit for the forearm, I guess. So if I was to adjust that up a little bit, you can see probably could say hi, how are you if it had a hand someday. Okay. The other arm, though, is a little more challenging. Doesn't want to there we go. There you go. There's one. There we go. There we go. Oh, I can skip that to move. Problem is his shoulder. I don't know why. The shoulder doesn't move very well for some reason. Weight problem or what? My shoulder. It's got a weak left shoulder. But the arm itself, the forearm's good. And it does that. I would. Now I'm not going to show you talking because I'm I'm running through this through the windows as a test for my laptop. But on the Raspberry Pi, it should work also. Um, and then I'll tie it into the central brain program that I wrote that handles the language, as Billy speak. It is able to talk through the brain program, and it has emotions. But I just want to demonstrate the arm movements so you can see that it can do something instead of just talk only. It's not just some intelligent chatbot. It actually serves a function. I wish that it... Uh, I like to walk someday, etc. One thing, one step at a time. Got to work on the arms. So say hi, how are you? Type of thing. You know, lift its hand up. Hey, how are you doing? You know, type of thing. Anyway, that's it. That's a little sneak peek of how it's coming along. Uh, the what I found is when I used a battery power source, that's enough to run the Raspberry Pi itself, maybe, but it's not enough for the servos. It's the battery power is not pulling out enough juice. So I had to directly plug it in to get the arms going. Because it takes a lot of power just to run these servos. Now, Raspberry Pi, the brain inside of it, inside of the robot, it doesn't really take as much. It takes power, but not as much. Maybe for the, the only time it absorbs power is when it's looking through its camera I right here. That's when it takes more power. That takes a lot of juice for the camera, it takes a lot of juice for the servos. But for the brain itself, it's good. It can handle the brain just fine. Anyway, it's enough showing it off my masterpiece.